My weird school. Fast facts. Geography. Written by Dan Gutman. Pictures by Jim Pellot. Chapter Six: The Fifty United States. The United States of America is a weird place to live. Here are fifty-one reasons why. Alabama, Scratch Ankle, Smut Eye, and Chigger Hill are all towns in Alabama. Alaska, Alaska is closer to Russia than it is to the rest of the United States. In one place, Russia is two and a half miles away. Arizona. The painted desert isn't painted, and the petrified forest isn't scared. The painted desert was named by Spanish explorers, who marvelled at the colors of the landscape. The petrified forest was named for its large deposits of petrified wood. Arkansas. Arkansas has the only diamond mine in North America. If you find a diamond there, you can keep it. California, California is home to the tallest waterfalls in the country: Yosemite Falls, the lowest, driest, and hottest point, Death Valley, and the tallest, biggest, and oldest trees in the world. The world's tallest living tree, Hyperion, is a three hundred seventy-nine foot redwood. Colorado, a land formation called the Continental Divide, runs through Colorado. All the rivers on one side empty into the Atlantic Ocean, and all the rivers on the other side empty into the Pacific Ocean. Connecticut, fifteen thousand years ago, Connecticut was covered by a glacier, so it's very young compared to the rest of the world. Oh, and they have a state insect there, the European praying mantis. Delaware. There are parts of Delaware that are only nine miles wide. Delaware is the only state without any national parks, seashores, historic sites, battlefields, memorials, or monuments. And by the way, one of the state colors of Delaware is buff. Florida. Florida is the lightning capital of the world. Sea breezes from the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean collide over the warm Florida Peninsula. That means lots of thunderstorms and lightning. Georgia, Marshall Forest in Rome is the only natural forest within a city limits in the United States. Hawaii. Hawaii is in two places at once. It's part of the United States, of course, but geographically, it's part of the Polynesian cultural region of Oceania. It is made of eight big islands and more than a hundred small ones. They were formed when volcanoes grew over a hot spot, a place where magma bursts through the tectonic plates. Some Hawaiian volcanoes continue to erupt from time to time. Every time Mauna Loa erupts, the Big Island of Hawaii gets a little bit bigger. Idaho, craters of the Moon National Monument in central Idaho is so much like the Moon that NASA used to chain astronauts for the Apollo missions. Illinois. The biggest city in Illinois, Chicago, is nicknamed the Windy City, but it's not because it is so windy. A New York City newspaper editor gave the city its nickname because he thought Chicagoans bragged too much about the Chicago World's Fair of 1893. Indiana. Indiana is famous for its beautiful limestone. The Empire State Building, Rockefeller Center, the Pentagon, the United States Treasury, a dozen other government buildings in Washington D.C., and fourteen state capitals were built using Indiana limestone. Iowa. 
Iowa is the only state whose name starts with two vowels. Hogs outnumber humans four to one there. Seventy-four million years ago, an asteroid or comet struck the Earth near Mansfield, and it's still there. The crater it created is hidden below the surface and stretches twenty-four miles in diameter. Kansas, Kansas is flatter than a pancake. Scientists actually compared its land with a pancake from IHOP. Maybe that's why farmland covers more than eighty-eight percent of the state. Kentucky, Mammoth Cave in the Green River Valley is the longest known cave system in the world. Nearly four hundred miles of underground passages, lakes, rivers, and waterfalls have been explored, but there's still more to go. Louisiana, New Orleans is home to lots of cemeteries with above-ground tombs. Why? Because the ground is too wet to bury people underground. Maine, Maine's West Quaddy Head is the easternmost point of land in the United States. So every day, sunrise happens there first. Maryland, a breed of wild ponies appeared on Ossetee Island hundreds of years ago. They're called the Shinkatig ponies. Some people believe they are survivors of wrecked Spanish ships, or maybe they're descendants of domestic horses transported to the island in the 1600s. Nobody knows for sure, but they are still there today. Massachusetts, in Webster, there is the place in the United States with the longest name. I didn't make that up. It's a Nipmuc word that means Englishman at Manchaw got the fishing place at the boundary, but because of an article by Webster Times editor Larry Daly, the translation more people know is "You fish on your side, I fish on my side. Nobody fishes in the middle." Michigan, four of the five Great Lakes touch Michigan. If you go to any point in the state, you'll never be more than eighty-five miles from one of the Great Lakes. Minnesota, Minnesota has more shoreline than California, Florida, and Hawaii combined. It has ninety thousand miles altogether. And in case you were wondering, the original name of the city of Saint Paul was Pig's Eye Landing, Mississippi. Mississippi is home to the world's largest cactus plantation in Edwards. It is also home to the largest pecan nursery, Lumberton, the cotton capital of the world, Greenwood, the catfish capital of the world, Belzoni, and the sweet potato capital of the world, Vardaman. Missouri. Missouri ties with Tennessee as the most neighborly state in the union. Both of them are bordered by eight states. Montana, Montana means mountainous in Spanish. There are more cattle than people in this state. The largest snowflake ever seen was in Fort Keogh. It was fifteen inches in diameter. Nebraska, the Nebraska National Forest was entirely planted by people. Nevada. Nevada is the most mountainous state in the country. It has three hundred fifteen counted mountain ranges. Sand Mountain is called the Singing Sand Dune. If you go there, you can hear weird noises caused by the grains of sand rubbing against each other. New Hampshire, the White Mountains are where you can find the highest peak in the Northeast, Mount Washington. It's six thousand two hundred eighty-eight feet high, but who's counting? The White Mountains are known for their intense winter storms. The highest wind speed ever recorded was on Mount Washington on April twelfth, nineteen thirty-four. It was clocked at two hundred thirty-one miles per hour. New Jersey. 
In 1858, the first nearly complete dinosaur skeleton found in North America was dug up in Haddonfield. It was named Hadrosaurus, but everybody calls it Hattie. In the middle of town, they have a big statue of it. New Mexico Carlsbad Caverns are the deepest limestone caves in the United States. You could fit six football fields into the largest chamber, which is called the Big Room. Playing football in a cave would be cool. Every night between March and October, thousands of bats fly out of the caves and then return in the morning. New York Glaciers carved out the Great Lakes, two of which sit on New York's border with Canada, Lake Ontario and Lake Erie. Glaciers are also responsible for the Finger Lakes, a group of 11 long narrow lakes that resemble fingers, so they have the perfect name. North Carolina The Wright brothers were not from North Carolina. They lived in Ohio, but they brought their airplane to Kitty Hawk in the Outer Banks of North Carolina because the National Weather Service said it had strong steady winds for flying and lots of soft sand for landing. North Dakota West of the Missouri River, wind and rain have eroded the rugged hills to form the Badlands. Rock formations like canyons, gullies, ravines, buttes, and mesas that are nearly impossible to get through on foot. Ohio Johnny Appleseed was a real person who spent most of his life planting apple trees in the Ohio River Valley. He also gave seeds and seedlings to everyone he met. Oklahoma Sixty-seven Native American tribes have lived in Oklahoma. Most of them walked there when the government took their land and forced them onto reservations. Their journey became known as the Trail of Tears. A Choctaw chief gave the state its name, Okla, people, and Homa, red. Oregon Crater Lake is 1,943 feet deep, the deepest lake in the United States. It's inside a dormant volcano. After the volcano erupted 7,700 years ago, the upper half collapsed into an empty magma chamber. Pennsylvania Pennsylvania is where all the pencils in the world are made. Okay, that's a total lie, but this is true. The state's best known animal is Punxsutawney Phil, a groundhog. On Groundhog Day, February 2nd, every year, if he sees his shadow, that means we'll have six more weeks of winter. Rhode Island Rhode Island is the smallest state. In fact, it's smaller than some countries in other states. No place in Rhode Island is more than a half-hour drive from the ocean or bay. South Carolina Cotton was king in South Carolina until a beetle called the ball weevil destroyed the crops in the 1920s and farmers were forced to plant other crops. South Dakota like North Dakota, South Dakota has an area of badlands. Fossils of ancient mammals like rhinos, horses, and saber-toothed cats have been found there. The badlands erode by about one inch per year. Tennessee The Great Smoky Mountains are 200 to 300 million years old, among the oldest mountains in the world. Texas they say everything is bigger than Texas. The state is bigger than most countries, including every country in Europe except Russia. Texans fought Mexico for independence and won in 1836. It was its own country until 1845, when it became the 28th state. Utah More than 1,500 fossils have been found in the Uinta Mountains on the border between Colorado and Utah. The bodies of dinosaurs, turtles, crocodiles, and mammals were covered in sand by a river about 140 million years ago. Vermont 
Samuel Lee Champlin first explored the area of present-day Vermont, and he named the famous Lake Champlin after himself. Virginia. Virginia has more than three thousand caves. They're full of stalactites, which grow downward, and stalagmites, which grow upward. Water deposits minerals on them, so they're growing slowly. It takes about one hundred twenty years to add a cubic inch to the stalactites and stalagmites. Washington. In nineteen seventy-seven, a farmer digging a pond just outside Olympic National Park unearthed the remains of a mastodon with a spear point poking out of one of its ribs. West Virginia. When Virginia left the Union during the Civil War, the people in the western part of the state didn't want to leave, so they formed their own state, West Virginia. Wisconsin, Wisconsin is home to more dairy farms and cows than any other state. Cow's milk is used to make cheese, which led to the nickname for people who live in Wisconsin, cheeseheads. Wyoming. Yellowstone National Park has more geysers than any other place on Earth. Do you know what a geyser is? Those are places where heated water and steam shoot out of the ground. The large geyser that erupts more frequently than all the others is called Old Faithful. Washington D.C. At first, New York City was the capital of the United States. Then the capital was moved to Philadelphia, and then it was moved to Washington D.C. Do you know why Washington was chosen? In 1790, it was decided that the capital should be right in the middle of the North and the South. Land was donated by Maryland and Virginia.